Guys, here we are once again. Came out a good time. I was about ready to go to bed for my overnight shift. What is in the package? Let's find out. We're going to do a quick unboxing of something special that I pre ordered a little while ago. First impressions the box is a lot smaller than I thought it was going to be. So that's a major plus. Feels heavy. What could be in the box, guys? Let's find out. I can give you one hint. We got some wrist guards from E-Wheels. This is like my 10th pair. Okay. Some styrofoam. And looks like we got manual. A couple of fuses. Okay, we have charger cable, there she is, wow, holy cow, it's actually a lot lighter than I thought it was going to be, oh wow, look at this, oh yeah, this is nice, this is about the same same size, same width as the master with all the Clark pads. Nice. So let's take these off. Ooh, the pedals are bigger than I thought they would be too. Let's see. I think we have to unlock this by plugging this into the charger. Okay, so we got the charger ready. We're gonna plug it in. And this, we're gonna unlock the wheel this way. If you want to see uh, uh, the specs of the Sherman S, you can see it right over here. Pause the video if you need to. And we'll explain a little bit later why I chose this wheel. Okay, so it's a uh, five pin. And right in the front, this is where you find uh, the charger ports. So we'll plug that in. Okay, we've got it plugged in. Okay, it just did a beeping sound. And now I'm going to unplug it. I'm gonna power it on. There we go. She is ready to rock. Hi, am I in the shot? Yes, I am. Hi guys, sorry it's so dark. So this is the seat. It's, it's got some cushion to it, it's not that bad. So it has some glue that's on the back of it and that's what we're gonna take off. And just match your shapes, guys, into the, the shape right here. Bada bing, bada boom. And I'm not even from New York. Bada bing, bada boom. Guys, I am so freaking impressed by the looks of this, man. Very impressed. So I'm going to get some pads on, on this, and we'll be right back. Didn't I say this wheel looks a lot smaller than I thought it was going to be? Holy shit, guys. So we're going we're gonna to put uh, this Velcro on here. Yep, yep, yep. Nice big long strip of Velcro. So you're probably wondering why I got this wheel. Why did I get this wheel? Well, I wanted something that would be future proof. I want to have three wheels total. My M10-3 for my small wheel, my clown wheel, right? I want a long range suspension wheel that is capable of some top speeds. This is where the Sherman S comes in. I also want an off-road wheel or a secondary uh, speed wheel uh, that has a lot of torque and that's where the Master comes in. So I am probably going to sell my original Sherman. So we got that on. Let us, <clears throat> let us now 
put the pads on. We'll do for now, I guess. We'll mess around with it. Found these on Amazon. I've seen these uh, on YouTube, people using these. It has a reflector on it. Matter of fact, I have the box here. It came with some Velcro too. I didn't use the Velcro, but there's stickers in there uh, that gives it a shine, luminosity. We'll put this on at a later time. All right, so this uh, Navi tire is a 2.75 by 14. And E-Wheel told me to pump this up 35 PSI or more. 14 PSI, good thing we checked it. Thirty-five. It's probably gonna go down a little bit, but that's all right. Seems like the headlamp is tilted down. I think we can easily tilt it up. Uh, we can tighten it with a hex driver and dim, but we got some light. Nice. And I think you hold, press the power button back a little bit. And the laser lights are on. I don't know if you can see it on the ground, but the laser lights are on. Okay, you can tilt. You can tilt the laser back too. You can tilt it up, tilt it up and down. So this has a little sound to it. It has like a that's the magnets. You can hear it. Oh, okay. There's a little switch here, and then this brings it up. Okay, let's see how good it is. Turn off the lights. Yes, it's functional. It's functional. I don't think it's bad as people make it out to be though. All right, so here we go. Moment of truth. Let's see how it feels. Pads are nice. The pads are nice. Um, I don't know if I have to mess with it a little bit more or not, but you know, we'll see what we can do later. Uh, the height of this is pretty much the same as the master, pretty much. The angle of the pedals are too uh, too angled. It's not flat enough. I might have to flatten them out a little bit. I'm, um, yeah, I'm just gonna have to, you know, go for a ride with it and test it out. I'm not gonna do it today. I want you guys to uh, stay tuned for the next part where we're gonna test it out and when I have time to do it. <laughs> Gotta go to bed here. And with the noise that's out there, I think it's gonna be kind of hard to uh, go to sleep. If you guys like this video, if this has been entertaining somewhat, um, make sure you give me a thumbs up and we'll explore more of this machine uh, in future videos. You thought it was over. Get ready for the bonus test. The bonus. The stair test. Oh boy. Oh boy, here we go. Here we go guys. Get ready to watch my chunky ass. Bring this thing upstairs. Five, four, three, two, one. Not bad. Whew. 
Okay, so weight wise, it feels pretty close to the master with the Clark pads, Clark fairing system. And uh, hell, let's do one more thing before we leave. I have the, the master and Sherman S side by side. Again, I'm not too sure if I got the pads on right. But as you can see, guys, um, size difference just by looking at it by eye. Uh, it's taller. The master is taller or with the Clark pad seat system. But look at it, guys. It's, it's not a bad size. I thought it was going to be freaking huge like the monster. No, it's about the same size as the Master with the Clark Pad system. Now I'm going to bring my Sherman and I'm going to put it in the middle. We got a, a fisheye effect with this lens. I'm telling you right now, the Master is taller. And of course that's the size of the Sherman, that's how it is. Thickness wise, let's look at the thickness of these wheels. And I can just tell you already, uh, the thickness is about the same with the Sherman S with pads on compared to uh, the Big O Master with the Clark pads fairing system and pads on. Okay guys, so thank you for coming by and watching my video and uh, I'm going to give you guys some more impressions along the way. We're going to do a ride next um, in 360, my first ride. Uh, after that we're going to do part two of my Sherman S series and we're going to actually put the Sherman S through its paces. We're going to make sure our suspension is locked in. We're going to see um, you know, uh, if, if it's charging correctly all the way. We're just going to break everything down. It's going to take some time to get that part out. But uh, we're going to be getting a couple more accessories coming in too as well. So uh, stay tuned for that. Y'all have a good one. This is Wilson signing out.